Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you know who I am, then great, welcome back. And if you don't know who I am, then we're about to get real acquainted with my food choices. Uh, so today, as I've mentioned a couple times in videos before, I'm going to be doing a grocery shopping in Japan video. So let's go get started. Okay, so first things first, before we even get into the store, can we just take a minute to appreciate the person who designed, invented, or made Japanese shopping carts? They are literally the best thing in the world. I don't know why everywhere doesn't have them and they're small enough so that you don't like take a bunch of food and like you get smaller portions so you don't eat as much. And they're so well, like they're so good. Just look at this. It's like handles for your hands or you can like hang stuff on them. And then on all of the carts, they're actually made so that like you can either put stuff in there or you can put the baskets in. And there's three different spots. It'll make sense at the end of the video why the baskets are important. It's like, why can't you just use that? Well, first of all, the walls aren't very high. And second of all, it'll make sense later. Just watch till the end and you'll find out why baskets are so important in Japan. And so if you have a kid, instead of getting one of like the regular carts, you can actually get one with a baby seat or booster seat thing on it and you can put your stuff on the bottom or you can get one that has like a seat on the bottom and you have like your regular like basket on top where you can put the other basket and there's a spot on the bottom too. Look how smooth these carts are. Like you can turn in like every direction. Bye. Like look so smooth. All right, so I personally don't like strawberries, but for some reason, strawberries are just like the life of Japanese people. Like, they love them. They put them on everything. I tend to be finding that Japanese fruits and vegetables are and meat are very, very expensive. See, like, it's like $4 for a little package of snow peas. Okay, I can honestly say because of the prices of vegetables, I have not bought a single vegetable at a grocery store since I've been here. And that's really bad, vegetables, you're supposed to eat a lot of vegetables, but they're just so much more expensive and like the portions are so much smaller. So have not bought a vegetable yet. So they don't even have them here, but the prices for watermelons and mangoes and like some exotic fruits is so expensive in Japan. Like I remember seeing a watermelon once and it went for like $45 or something. And like mangoes are like fairly rare too, even though like mango flavored stuff is pretty common. But yeah, you can Google some of like the really expensive fruit in Japan. And like Japan also has like triangular watermelons and those are super expensive and like, white strawberries and those are like a delicacy too. But what you can buy for cheap is tons and tons of cheap instant noodles. There's so many, so many different kinds. But for some reason, in my opinion, Japanese meats just like always look better. I don't know, they're like a lot redder and nicer looking than like the typical like or ground beef and stuff you get in North America. Okay, so this is the biggest package of bacon I could find. It only has two, four, six slices in it and it costs two dollars. Like, I need bacon. They rarely have cartons that have more than 10 eggs in them and like the majority of eggs will have six instead of the usual dozen eggs that like we normally get. Seaweed. There is so many types of instant curry or like curry dinners and they're really not that expensive. Okay, this entire aisle is just all instant noodles. You can never run out of instant noodles in Japan. These packages of ramen, there's like five inside and it costs like three dollars two fifty whatever like that's five full meals for like under three bucks so instant noodles are your friend in Japan so personally I really like UFO it's like yakisoba but instant noodleified instead of like having like the cup noodle or like the ramens or something UFO is like slightly different because it's yakisoba instead of like a soup based noodle. They also have like regular noodles and pasta and stuff if that's what you're into but like Japan they're so cute and they like pre-package like portions of it so that you don't have to like worry about how much pasta to make because I know I have that issue and I'm sure other people do too. So if you want, they're all about like the small portions right so they clearly label 
how much you, pasta you need for one serving or however many servings is indicated but super helpful and there's all my jams that I normally buy if you haven't seen my day in the life video I will link that down below it's a wall of instant soups I think people in Japan are in a hurry like a lot of the time so they've got a lot of like instant food like for us it's a lot of frozen food in Japan it's a lot of instant food which is good because all you usually need is hot water and that's one thing I can make is boil water you can also buy tons and tons of fish or seafood products and they actually are usually fairly fresh you can buy a whole fish and you can even buy like sashimi or like sliced raw fish sashimi is like the fish part of sushi if you don't know see I think this is why Japanese people are healthier like our bags of marshmallows are gigantic this is their biggest bag of marshmallows so these jelly things they're good to just eat like this they're better if you refrigerate them but they're even better if you freeze them and eat them like little frozen jello cube things if you want any nuts or beans they've got dried stuff this whole wall is just dried stuff and here we have the hard candy section this is their gigantic wall of coffee because people love coffee here and grocery stores almost always sell liquor and alcohol as well so you don't need to go to like a liquor store you can just go to the grocery store and buy some and this is their drinking uh, drinks aisle so usually what I'll do because water gets kind of boring to drink after a while I'll buy like a giant bottle of like Aquarius or tea or something and I will drink that with my meals as well and just keep it in my fridge and here is their collection of frozen food and it is this aisle and this aisle alone that is it would half the university students in Canada survive on just this aisle of frozen food somehow I doubt it like look how small their bag of french fries is like that would be like a one meal for one person in Canada I think it's so funny that they sell frozen pizzas here and they're like decent size but like no one has an oven so no one can cook them so so I'm like 99% sure that Walmart owns Say You, which is the grocery store that I'm at right now because if you look at all the signs they look like all of the Walmart like rollback signs same colors same fonts and there's like a big poster for like Walmart debit cards or point cards or something so I'm pretty sure this is owned by Walmart or this owns Walmart but I'm pretty sure it's the other way around they sell Walmart bags who else would sell Walmart bags other than Walmart so you can either get refreshing cold beer on this side or you can get ice cream on this side that's my cart so this is their yogurt um, my favorite is this one here it's like the mixed fruit one um, but I also like these ones I like the plain one the best they also have strawberry and grape but I don't know I like the plain ones I'm gonna get this so they've also got tons and tons of juices but in my opinion juice is very expensive here again because the portions are smaller even if it's like the same price that so you don't get as much juice Okay, Ku is so cute and so good. They're like little jelly drink pack things. And so they've got like orange grape, a different grape, and apple, and then peach. And that's a new flavor. I have no idea what it is. I personally really like Mami. It sounds weird on camera, but this is called Mami. And then in Japan, they also have Yakuruto which is like these little drinks here and these are also really good and they're also really good frozen but I also they're like yogurt drinks but like not quite and so milk in Japan almost always comes in one liter bottles or sorry one liter cartons and then they've got like their wall of chips and like their bags are so much smaller like this is their Cheetos bag it looks like the little snack size bags that you get with like your little cafeteria food or whatever or like that your mom used to pack you or that you get for Halloween it's like that size but it's like their normal size and see like their Doritos they're so teeny 
Like it's like literally snack sized. Oops, I dropped some. So I'm gonna be doing a video about Japanese snacks or candies that you should try. Or maybe I'll try them. I haven't said it yet. I've had a lot of them though, so that might not work. Either way, a video for you guys about what candies you should or should not eat or try. So most grocery stores will also have like a big bakery section. And so like it's kind of late at night right now, so a lot of the stuff is like sold out, but you can buy like pizza slices or like different buns. Like there's like a weird hot dog. Or like sometimes I'll come here and like buy something for breakfast. These are called um buns and they have like red beans inside them. Get your dungles. Shoe creams are my life. They're like little cream puffs and I could eat six packs of these in one go. They're so good and they're really not that expensive so I have a problem because I love them and they love me. Actually, I think I'm gonna get some. So the, well this is part of the bread section. Um, most people in Japan eat white bread. It's called shokupan because it's square. And usually I will just try and find the cheapest one. You know how in Canada they like, or America, they give you like a big loaf like with the end pieces? Japan is nice because they like never give you an end piece. So you always get like, just like the nice middle section of the bread. So you don't have to fight over who has to eat the end of it. So like before the eight and the 10, they're all like the same sized pieces of like loaves of bread but you can just see that the four slice is like this big and then like the ten slice is like that big so that's how bread is organized in Japan so I'm gonna get a six slice one. Oh here it's way at the bottom oh something just cracked and then they also have like pre-made little packaged bread melon pun is so popular in Japan and it's so good it's like melon flavored and it has like a cookie like baked on top of it essentially so it becomes like a cookie bread thing and it's sweet and it's good and like butter is like the most complicated thing in the world to buy if you can't read Japanese because like a lot of people in Japan use margarine instead of like butter and you can buy some sweets this pudding was the best thing as a kid it's called pudding pudding and like you literally just open the top, flip it upside down and then there's like a little like knob on the bottom that you like open up and it like lets air in and like the pudding like falls out of the bottom onto the plate and then that's why it like looks like this because you can tell like the brown stuff's on the bottom right and then when you flip it upside down it comes out a cute little flower shaped pudding thing. So in my opinion the best part about Japanese grocery stores is these pre-made meal sets. And so when you come at the end of the day, usually they're like 30% off or like discounted because they want to get rid of them. But you can literally come here and buy a meal so cheap. Like look at this. This is only $3 and it's 30% off. Buy like sushi packages. You can even buy like the infamous takoyaki. Or you can buy like deep fried stuff. Usually this is where I come buy dinner because I don't like cooking. <laughs> And it doesn't break your bank because stuff is like usually under a dollar. Well, I think that this one here looks pretty good. Let's just take this one. And I almost forgot, you can always buy giant bags of rice. And usually Japanese grocery stores, like most grocery stores, will have like sections that aren't meant for, you know, food. They've got like other stuff like toilet paper and makeup apparently. So most Japanese grocery stores won't give out bags anymore for free, which is totally, actually I don't even know if they sell them, if they have them at all, but either way they don't give them out anymore, so you have to bring your own. So I brought my own plastic bag, and I really want to be using a reusable bag, but I didn't bring one with me. Like give them out at other stores, so I feel like I could just reuse them instead of throwing them out. So make sure if you're going to go grocery shopping in Japan, you bring your own bag. So the answer you've all been waiting for, why the baskets are so important in Japan. Because you put the basket, instead of having to take everything out of the cart, you just put the basket up on the ledge there and then they can move it into another basket and you can put the other basket back onto your cart so then you don't have to worry about like taking all your items out of the cart and then putting them all in back in and then putting them all in bags and like it's too complicated. So that's why a basket is important in Japan. 
And then after you pay, Japan's got these nice little packing stations where you can pack up all your groceries and you don't have to hold up the line at the cashier. So that concludes my grocery shopping video. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below because I'm not really 100% sure what you guys did or didn't want to see. Um, but yes, I didn't buy that much and yeah, that was my grocery shopping video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.